Hey, greetings my YouTube family and Twitch family. Welcome back to another edition of A Metalhead Reacts to Rap and Hip Hop with me, your boy Frodo T. Baggins. <clears throat> Alright, so let me start off here. <clears throat> Let's get into, first off, the track that we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing, I, I want to try to do some diss tracks here. I thought about something that would be kind of cool to do. And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> something that would be kind of cool to do is to have like, do the, the diss track and then do the reaction track, you know, like listen to them both and see what they both had to say. And maybe we can discuss the video, you know, kind of like a two for one video where you know, literally do the diss track first and then do the response track and, and see how that goes. And uh, the song we're doing today, there is no response apparently. So 50 Cent, uh, we're doing um, Paper Plates by Jizza. Figured I'd go with somebody from the Wu Tang Clan and uh, put this out there. Uh, as you can probably tell, I am extremely under the weather. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm probably not going to do a full album Friday this week. I've been sick for the whole weekend. And I haven't really felt good. Um, I got called into work the other day. So it's just been like I've got so much on my plate at the moment. Plus, with not feeling good, I don't know if I'd be able to really sit there and talk for, you know, two hours, an hour and a half, do a video uh, for, for the whole album. So I'm actually going to postpone the um, full album Friday until next Friday and I do apologize about that I hope you guys can understand it's just I, I'm feeling so like down that I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out and not only that but I've got to work the rest of the week and the type of job that I do um, even if you're sick or under the weather unless it's like something extremely bad you know you're, you're not able to take the day off we're just so short-handed that you just have to come in and work through it and so I really can't take any time right now. But at least wanted to give you guys some content, you know. So even though I'm really not feeling good, <coughs> I can put out a video here or there for you. And it shouldn't be a problem. So I hope you can forgive me this week. Next week I will do Outcast. Have that up for you. Make sure I get it done, especially if I start feeling better. But... <coughs> Let me get into this with you guys. It says here, the lead single from Jizz's 2000 album, Pro Tools, uh, Paper Plates, is a long, rambling diss track against 50 Cent and G-Unit. Uh, 50 Cent has never published or responded to this track. And uh, according to Jizz, the name of the track comes from the fact that paper plates are disposable and not unique. I'm going to pull it up like I normally do. Uh, it looks like Jizz actually uh, wrote something here, like uh, we're going to read this here. Uh, you know what paper plates is about? A paper plate is something that's lightweight and disposable. <laughs> you can recycle it and get rid of it after you're done with it. It's just a statement that I wanted you out saying that I'm lyrical and I'm not material. I'm a sum of a beautiful equation. And sometimes these dudes need to just realize and respect the tradition of an MC. Okay? And yeah? I've been working in this game for a while to try and focus on the lyrical aspect of all this. And saying 50 Cent and G Unit could never write like me. And I'm coming at it focused on shelf life. I'm not trying to clown all the younger rappers, but just saying that there is so many things to be inspired by, so I don't understand why people are still rhyming about the same thing. I'm trying to move forward towards a tradition, and you can see when I'm going on a Liquid Swords tour 10 years after it came out. Wu-Tang has two or three generations of fans, so we must be relevant. And what does it matter that... <coughs> Excuse me. And what does it matter that they call me Grandpa because I fathered your style? That's, yeah, I mean, how can you go wrong at that? You know, I mean, <clears throat> Wu-Tang's still going strong today. Maybe not collectively, but individual members still are. I mean, hell, Ghostface, Jizza, and uh, Raekwon just were on tour. I know Wu-Tang was just touring as well. So, you know, these guys are still out there. I haven't heard of anything from 50 Cent. Like, I know a couple 50 Cent songs. Um, like, P.I.M.P. I think I've heard at some point and then uh, in the club or at the club or something like that like I, I kind of heard some of those I think I think the most thing I remember about 50 Cent was that I, I watched a, it was like a, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily watch it it was kind of on in the background like it was on a TV or something and he was getting interviewed and he told somebody like the interviewer that he got shot nine times and it's like but he, he, he repeated that like so many times he was like, oh, you know, well, getting shot nine times really makes you see life in different angle. And it, I'm sad that it took me getting shot nine times to, you know, realize this and to understand what life's all about. 
And anybody who gets shot nine times might not survive. If it's like, dude, we know you got shot nine times. You, you already said that about like 40 times in this interview. Anyway, enough long-winded rambling. I'm sorry, guys. I should be getting into the video. I, I didn't mean to ramble that long. Let's pop it up and roll it out. You ready for this? Here we go. Turn this up. I've seen a kid one night at a spot. He had a Wu Tang logo on his face. Okay. And just a tattoo. It's big. And then oh, a whole bunch of other shit carved on it. You don't see that often. And I mean, I've never seen a, 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 a G on it logo on someone's face or arm. Or, right. You know, not saying that there isn't. But um, I would say it's sort of like a cult following. You know, but we're just regular people. I mean, I, I look at myself as a regular person. That's an interesting little tune. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to rewind that. By the way, if you hear some noise in the background, sorry, guys, I gotta, I'm doing some laundry there at the moment. Here we go. It's got that, it's got that beat, though. That boom, boom, boom. You ever seen someone who rolled with Mayweather? Rhyme like Ricky Hatton, smash whatever you throw, thousand is what I'm batting. Got a few hooks with no jabs, took them out your corn dog books and no pads. I get it, you got bitch robbing those in the industry. Bite off this one, steal from your enemy. Never try to play the hottest one out your camp. You might step off and take half the juice from your amp. Enough to make you bold when they cover a GQ. Only missing the sheer blouse, homie, you see through. <laughs> oh, damn. <coughs> <clears throat> hangs out with uh, Floyd Mayweather apparently got a few hooks but no jabs I get the boxing reference there took him out your corn dog books and notepads so apparently he's like doing half ass writing uh, <clears throat> get rich robbing the industry bite off this one steal from it so basically he's saying 50 cent can't write his own shit he's just stealing it from people Never try to play the hottest one out of your camp. He might stuff off and take half the juice from your amp. What's, I wonder what that means. Let's, let's click. I'm curious. This is a reference to the game. He was easily one of the best in G-Unit until in Jizz's opinion. And when 50 Cent fell out with the game, he stepped off from G-Unit. And G-Unit has been whack ever since. Okay. Uh, that makes Okay, that makes some sense there. We're going to roll this back a little bit. <clears throat> I have to make you vogue on the curtain. You only miss it, your blouse. <laughs> only see through. Camp, you might step off and take half the juice from your amp. Enough to make you vogue when they cover a GQ. Only missing the sheer blouse, homie, you see through. Stop sipping on that Formula 50. They want heat, I give it to them. Burnt and crispy, rhyme too short, the box we got. So stretch it. Especially these overrated rap step and fetches. I told you if I rain, there'll be an eternal drizzle. Woodwork strips being chipped, sharp chisels. Through a burst shatter your spine and crush your spirit no matter what. You still window shop for lyric. Wow, this is, I love that. If I, <coughs> if I told you I rain, <coughs> there'll be an eternal drizzle. Woodwork strips being chipped to charred chisel. I like that. I, li I like how his flow is here. Uh, and of course, it's a RZA beat, so you know it's going to be good. But it it's very, very smooth. Like, Jizza is very, very smooth in in his wordplay and his rhymes. And that's something I've, I've always been impressed with him about. Rain, there'll be an eternal drizzle. Woodwork strips being chipped, sharp chisels. One verse shatter your spine and crush your spirit no matter what. You still window shop for lyrics. If you use a pimp, Put chicks on the stroll. Hey. And those soldiers, give them bigger guns to hold. Who shot you? You don't have to get yo slinging. Please support it. Too many cuts on it. Coke heads, they won't snort it. I spray the flea unit with pesticides. You can get your best ghost riders. Get them all to testify. Have you ever been stung by a thousand hornets? 500 killer bees buzzing and really on it. With the Cuban links and cut with liquor swords. Choked by iron men to be crushed and broke cords. You ain't nothing but a pig in a blanket. Hog head, the deadliest food at the banquet. Oh. All this rap crap that's trapped in your colon only means get rid of the wax you're holding. Wow, wow, wow. T fucking A. <clears throat> this just came in hard right there. You can get your best ghost riders, get them on Telefy. So basically, they're saying, you don't even make your own fucking rhymes, 50 Cent. Like, you don't make your own rhymes. You got ghost riders for that. Have you ever been stung by a thousand hornets? 500 killer bees buzzing and really on it. Uh, yeah, you know the killer bees. <coughs> Whip with Cuban links, cut with liquid source, choke my arm until we crush your vocal cords. <clears throat> All fucking great albums. All great albums. Can't deny that. 
I don't think 50 Cent could ever come close to touching Wu-Tang. I mean, like, I don't know much about him, really, but I, you know, it's like this Wu-Tang claim you're talking about. I don't think most people can come close to touching them. Ain't nothing but a pig in the blanket. Hog had the deadliest food at the banquet. All this rap crap that's trapped in your colon only means get rid of the wax Shh, you're holding. Sweet tooth dudes, stay out the candy shop. You ain't got a ham cup and see the panties drop. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. looking for a rat and cheese. Got something to pitch, they all swing a bat with ease. Get your ankles broke while doing your two-step. Leave a thank you note for the crutches to rule left. Proactive oh, rap, you know they put drug in the cream. You hallucinate, you see Kanye in the dream. And yo, I don't smoke dust, I dust off Smokey and the bandits with the brush stroke. Off the I love that movie too. didn't have no response for the song. No response. I I would think that how how would you go toe to toe with a member of the Wu Tang Clan? You know, I I would assume there are some rappers who probably could. Pro Tools in stores August nineteenth. Right. Well, I would assume that there are probably hip hop artists, rappers who probably could go to go to toe with a couple of them maybe here or there but i don't know like that's just um that was pretty good wasn't i don't think it was as hard as you know something like uh, no vaseline i don't think it was like that i think what this was was more him being really smooth about it you know it didn't seem like he was angry or anything like that just it, it seemed the song he was very matter of fact you know just like oh you ain't got shit on me who the fuck are you i'm just i'm into wu-tang who the fuck are you that's kind of how I took this. I mean, he still got some good disses in there. Definitely good disses. But, you know, when he, when he, like, basically when he said, I'm in the Wu-Tang Clan. You, you ain't got shit on us. And I don't know much about 50 Cent's crew. I guess they're called G-Unit. I don't know much about him, but <clears throat> apparently, yeah, good, good track, good track. I think the next time I do, the like, a diss track, I think what I'll probably try to do is, like I said, uh, do the the diss and then the response if there is one. <clears throat> that way we can kind of compare and you know uh, discuss what each one was talking about. Again, guys, really sorry about you know not putting the content out, but I'm just you know I'm just so under the weather. It's like I need to make sure I get better and and try to rest as much as I can in between working my 50 plus hours a week. So I do apologize, but I will put out. Like I said, I will put out uh, another video, hopefully this week, maybe even two if I can, depending on how I feel, uh, to make up for the lack of not having the full album done. But um, as soon as I feel better, I'll put the full album out for you guys. But thanks for bearing with me. I really appreciate you guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, and um, hit the notification bell. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>